Welcome to SDR Radio for Beginners, episode number three, using an Android device with your SDR radio. <clears throat> now, in the last two episodes, we went over, in the first episode, we went over what you need. So I'm assuming by now you've already got an SDR radio. That's what this is here. Then in the second video, we went over how to use the SDR, the software you need to use it with your computer. But uh, some people might want to bring this mobile, have a little more uh, flexibility with it. And you can use this with an Android device. Now, there is one drawback. Not every Android device is going to work. What I have here, this actually is an Android. This isn't a netbook or one of those things. This here, it's an Insignia. Here's the box for it, so you can see it's the 11.6 Flex Tablet for Android. It just happens to have a removable keyboard. <clears throat> but uh, this tablet works fine. This is a quad core. It actually has USB ports, so it works perfect with this. But um, if you have something like this, this is actually my old phone. Um, this is a Samsung, a ZTE something. This won't run this software. It won't. Um, right here I've got, uh, if you can see there, this is an RCA tablet, one of the little tablets. This is like a $50 tablet. This is like the El Cheapoest one you can get and uh, it won't run the software. Now if you have something like this, like this is a quad core, or you have um, like a Galaxy S, what are they up to now, 7s or something like that, I'd imagine all, almost any of the, the Galaxies back to a certain point. I Probably 4 or 5 or back might not, but then again, I don't have one to try it out. But uh, yeah, you're going to want something with some processing power, not just, you know, this phone here I think was like 100 bucks when I bought it. If you're spending a couple hundred bucks on, you know, your phone, it's probably going to do it. Um, if you get a uh, one of the Samsung tablets, they're probably going to work. This uh, Insignia tablet works fine. Um, you, you're just going to have to read into the specifications on the particular software. Now, I have one here I'm going to be recommending, and we'll get into it in a minute. But uh, some softwares require more processing power than others. And the one I have here, what I, it um, doesn't have all the bells and whistles that the computer uh, program I have does for running SDR. But it, uh, this is one of the ones that requires the least amount of processing power and will work. And uh, like I said, it works perfectly fine with my Insignia tablet. But I tried it on my phone and that other little RCA tablet. It does not work. So... That's uh, the first two things you're going to need, you know, the SDR radio, the tablet. Um, of course, you're going to need an antenna. I'm just hooked up to the TV antenna at the moment. And I have the weather, uh, NWS weather report brought up. Uh, that way I can't get no copyright issues. This is run by the government, so they, it's not copyrighted. If I was tuning in one of the local radio stations, I might have a problem with the audio being on the video. I'm going to turn that back down for a moment. Now, another thing you're going to need is the ability to plug the SDR into the tablet. Now, like I said, this tablet actually has regular USB ports in the keyboard. If I detach it, I would need one of these, an OTG. So I can still use it without keyboard you just have to have an OTG and this is actually an older style for these phones the older Android the new one oh, I think that was backwards nope well that's the nice thing about the new one whichever way you plug it in it fits it don't matter there's no backwards and this has that so I don't have one of those yet but I do have them on here um, I am gonna eventually order an OTG cable for this just so if I want to use it without the keyboard, I can. And they only cost, you know, like two, three dollars shipped. They're very inexpensive. So that's the other thing you will need. So yeah, that's the three things you'll need to do this. And then the software. Now I'm gonna go ahead and back this up. Okay, we're gonna stop that. And then we're gonna go back, close out of it. We're going to need a program. It's called SDR 
OID, um, S-Roid, S-T-R-Roid, S-D-Roid, I don't know how they want to pronounce it, but it's S-D-R-O-I-D. You'll find it on the Play Store. If you just type in SDR Radio under the search uh, in the search bar on Google Play, this is like the third one that comes up, and it's actually the first SDR Radio that comes up that's free. It's not a trial. It's, it's completely free. Now, you are also going to need a driver for the SDR USB radio, and it's the RTL SDR driver. Now, don't worry about finding that on the Play Store because just go ahead and download the SDROID, Stroid, and that's what the, uh, whoops, bring that back. That's what the um, thumbnail for it looks like. And then after you get it downloaded, open it up, go over and click on your settings, go into settings, and right here under source type, you're going to want to select what you're using. Because when it starts up, it's not going to be on RTL SDR. If I remember right, it starts up on uh, the hack RF or the file. So it was one of them, but I had to go in there and select it. So I don't need to redo it, so I can hit cancel. Then leave for now, leave everything else alone. Once you start playing with the program, you go through and tweak it to your own likes. I found so far the way it's factory set up works fine. Then uh, you can also get a desktop version of this. But um, the one that I showed you in the last episode, I really like that um, software. I haven't even checked this one out. I will eventually, but I do prefer the one I have right now on the PC. But what you do is you click Start. Now at this point, it wouldn't have went just to here. It's going to say you need the driver. And then what it'll do is it'll have um, a button you can click there that will bring you directly back to the Play Store to download the driver. And it is from the Play Store, so don't worry, you're not downloading some big virus. It brings you to the Play Store, and you can download it from there. Then um, it'll bring you in, and... It won't be started when you come in. I closed it out with it running still. So, oh, excuse me a second. Allergies are getting to me here today. <laughs> oh. So it'll bring it up. And if I remember right, it starts you out in the FM broadcast band. And that's what we're in there. We're in wide FM. But for here, we want to be on narrow band FM for the weather stations and stuff. And we'll start it and you see it switches now. Now, when you go into the wideband, you can let's see here, we gotta start it again. You can change the size of it like that. And that looks like that's as small as it goes, and you can also move it. But uh, remember, your wideband is mostly just gonna be on your broadcast. For your ham radio, like your 2 meter FM and the weather, National Weather Service and that, it's going to be the narrow band FM. Turn the volume back up a little and we'll tune it back. And now you see all these peaks, these are stations. And again, you got the waterfall down here. But this one here is obviously the closest to me, it's the strongest. And I did go in earlier and went through the broadcast band, uh, picking all kinds of stuff up. Now I'm just using the TV antenna. Oh, excuse me, using the TV antenna at the moment. Um, in the next episodes, we are going to start getting into different antennas. But uh, before I started getting into that, I wanted to show you, yes, you can use this with Android. Now, um, all right, well, I showed you that feature right there. That's where you select, you can select your USB, or excuse me, lower sideband, upper sideband. Wideband FM, narrowband FM, AM, and demodulation off. I'm guessing that's just off. I'm not sure what that's for. But um, then in here, you click on the HC, the Hertz, you can type a frequency in. So let's see. Well, I've got the, um, the volume turned off, so we can go ahead and go to a local radio station I know should come in really, really good. It's not one I particularly listen to, but I know it comes in strong. Then we'll click on set, click on our mode, wide band, 
and there it is right there. And as you can see, yes, it is wider. Whoops. Now you click on that and hold it. You can move that section. That's what you're tuned into. Or you can hold on here and you can drag around. Now all these peaks are different radio stations. Here's one that's really strong right there. So about in the middle there, that's where you'd be getting your best reception. <coughs> all right. Um, let's see. You click on the bars there. Now I found just leaving the the auto gain seems to work fine but if you really want to get into it and peek and tweak things you can turn the auto gain off and then you use this to select your gain you can see in the waterfall there now it's now it would still pick that station up but probably not as good but remember the further you turn it up you're going to start getting distortion stuff in there to the I found just at least for now for starting out I would leave it on auto it works fine like I said when you get the hang of this then go ahead and play with that and that's about it then you got your pause button so you can stop the radio and then play to start the radio <coughs> and then your three dots are for going into your auto scale settings help and info auto scale I guess I never looked at that All right, well, it did something there. I don't know what. <laughs> I guess I'll have to look in help section. I, I've been using this program for about two weeks, so there's still some learning I have to do. But um, I've been in the ham radio for 20-some years now, so I'm very familiar with radio. So, all right. Oh, I got email. <laughs> um, with that, all I can say is just download this. Try it out, play with it. There are other versions. There are paid, paid uh, applications that'll work with your SDR, you know, USB radio, um, varying from just a couple dollars to like nine, ten dollars. But uh, this is a good start. Find out if you're interested. You know, the the ones you pay money for, you are going to get more features. They are probably going to do more, but before. Before you buy them, they usually have a, a, a trial. And some of them I noticed when I was first uh, looking for, for the uh, applications for this. A couple of them would only give you like a minute or two. And it was pretty much just to test and see if it is going to work with your device. So just be warned. Not all of them will give you, you know, a 30-day or five day or a week or whatever someone will just give you a couple minutes just to make sure before you purchase it that it's going to work with your device so all right well with that uh, we'll go ahead and wrap this up uh, don't forget to uh, like share and subscribe uh, the next episode we are going to start looking at antennas it's going to be a few days we're going to be having rain and thunderstorms here for the next three four days so i don't want to be standing outside uh, playing with an antenna while it's lightning and getting rained on. Uh, don't feel like playing Benjamin Franklin today. So make sure to subscribe and it'll be within a week. I'll uh, start doing some on the antennas. I've got two in mind that I already got the antennas put together for. One is a little uh, a little collapsible beam that you can set up. Uh, Yagi antenna, it's a beam that you can use for like two meter and you can tune it around. You can use it for broadcast. It'll also pick up the NOAA weather. And then I'll show you a calculator that you can use to make uh, that same particular beam for different frequencies. And then also I've got uh, an FRS antenna set up if you want to listen to the FRS radios. If you don't know what FRS radio is, do a YouTube search. There's tons of videos on it. So, All right, with that, I would like to thank you for joining us here at the Z-Hut today. I hope you have a great day and have fun playing with your SDR radio.